أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأتي الله وأتي الرسول وأولو الأمر منكم and reminder always from myself أنا عبدك العجيس ضعيف مسكين وظالم وجهل but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and we took a path in which to be nothing. Well, alhamdulillah was a reminder for myself that we were going to talk last night about the nataif of the qalb, the tafakkur, the contemplation and always a reminder for myself that this way, this school, these teachings here, again each has their own specialty is tafakkur and contemplation, meditation however and whatever language they want to, to use. It's a stop to smell the flowers. Slow the life down, contemplate and to take a hisab of myself. Every night to take an accounting of myself on what I have done, people, places and things that I have harmed and what is my character, muhassaba, take an accounting of myself. The door to the way was La ila anta subhanika ini kuntum min adhalimin. That glory be to Allah and that I am a, an oppressor, there's nothing but Allah and I am an oppressor to myself. The turuq and the way of marifa is built on negating of myself. If I'm negating myself at the door then the whole way is about me being nothing, I'm not anything. And that I want to be in their tajalli. I want to enter into Allah's love, that's a high state. I want to enter into the love of Sayyidina Muhammad we're getting closer. And I want to be in the love of these ulul am and these awliyaullah who are the reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad upon this earth. So my life is on how to negate myself at everything. That, Ya Rabbi I'm, I'm sitting after my salah, after my tahiyyat, Salaamu Alaikum, Salaamu Alaikum, I'm nothing. Ya Rabbi I'm nothing, let me just to be in Your light and to be in that presence and that I see my shaykh in front of me and that I know that he is there with me and let my heart to be connected to that light. That let my heart to be connected to that light and that I'm nothing, I'm nothing, dress me from that light. Keep your fires and your nazar upon me and that I'm nothing. As much as I can do that and begin to believe that. When I begin to believe that I'm nothing and it's not my importance Ya Rabbi that let me to feel that fires the emanation to feel that light and that blessing that you have dressed upon them and let it to begin to reflect upon me. So means the turuqs and why Allah inspires people to go sit with these people. It can't be the same as sitting with other people, there's a different specialty. Like going to a doctor. Based on your condition you go to a different physician. But this condition of the heart in which Allah wants these souls to reach where Allah wants them to reach, you can't reach with those faculties that you have. So He inspired within them, go sit with these ones whom teach this tafakkur, teach how to contemplate, teach how to negate the self and quiet the busy mind. So means they take an area in which they always meditate. They put their sajada, their carpet, they put a nice beautiful fragrance, a nice candled fragrance. They keep that area to be clean. They even purify the space by a certain sound. Now mashaAllah you can get like these portable speakers and it's continuously playing Holy Qur'an and Dalal Khirat. And that purifies that environment from any type of bad energy. Energies and energy beings are completely different than us. They cannot hear something bad and move into it. 
because of the immense power and that's their reality. Means as soon as they hear they keep a distance, so it has an immense cleansing. As soon as you keep that environment being purified, when you go to sit and begin to make your contemplation, there's already an energy in that presence, there's already a cleanliness in that presence. And then I begin to say, I'm nothing Ya Rabbi, it's not about me, let me to reach towards that reflection. Ittaqullah wa kunu ma sadiqeen. Every there's many, many holy Qur'an ayahs of Kareem that describe. Wallah well, Zawajah saying, have a consciousness and keep the company of the faithful. And we said before when Allah Zawajah speaks, He's not speaking to the physicality, He doesn't care about your physicality. Something that's only 70 years on this earth, Allah's not addressing it, Allah's addressing your soul and malakut. That at all times in your existence keep the company of those whom are truthful in their actions and in their deeds, not just their appearance. That their action and their deeds are truthful, keep their company at all times. So it wasn't, oh I'm just going to find a shaykh and follow him. But I'm going to ask Ya Rabbi that I'm nothing and let me to always be with them. When I close my eyes that let me to be in your company, that your nazar be upon me. Worshipness is only for Allah this is not worshipness. This is keeping company of pious souls. Just like we're keeping each other's company now because there's going to be a nice dinner. Keep the <coughs> company of pious souls at all times. Ya Rabbi, they must be all around these souls, I want to be with them, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. And that to see myself that dress me from your light, bless me from your light, I don't need to see your face. Don't preoccupy yourself with asking, I want to see you, I want you nobody to see anybody. Because we said at the door, I was nothing, I'm nothing. I just want to feel your presence, fill me with your lights. And then your belief begins to become stronger knowing they're there, knowing their, their nazar is there, their energy is on me, their energy is watching upon me, dressing upon me. And I'm sitting truthful to myself, taking my accounting every night that what have I done wrong, what is my, my heart doing wrong, what are my characteristics, what are my actions, that is muraqabah. That is this whole way based on that concept in which to keep the company of the shaykh. Have muhabbat, love, we all came to learn this way of love. Keep their hudur, keep their presence in our lives. At every aspect of my life I'm keeping the company of my shaykh. When I'm driving I'm keeping the company, when I'm about to take a test I'm asking for madad and support. When I'm working I'm asking for madad and support. That in every aspect of my life support me. For if your support should go off and my bad character comes out I begin to attack and fight and exhibit all the bad characteristics. So then they learned how to keep continuous madad, continuous nazar in which to continuously cleanse themselves. Because there can't be a time in which I want to be a good person and all the other times I'll be a bad person and the shaykh's not watching. No, it's, I'm trying to say, no, keep your madad with me always, keep your nazar upon me always, let me to feel that presence. So definitely when I begin to meditate in that purified area then I begin to feel that presence. That dress me from that light, bless me from that light. When they understood that concept they asked that, let me to vanish, that I'm nothing, that your light be upon me, your dress be upon me. Then the lataif of qalb and the book of the heart and the levels of the heart, when we talked about the, the beginning level is the level of the qalb in which you see it like this. The left, the left door of the heart is yellow, then it goes red, then it goes white, green, black, ocean of blue is all around. 
And قَالْ بِالْمُؤْمِنْ بَيْتُ الله. So this is the story of the house of Allah Who's in the house of Allah Zawajal? Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. Means all these personalities and souls that are in the house of Allah Zawajal. So the entryway of the house is the station of the qalb. So the first was the meditate, contemplate, I took a way in which to, I'm nothing Ya Rabbi, let me to always be under their nazar, let me to be under their faiz and under their dress. As soon as I understood that concept for the people who are doing their tafakkur and contemplation, then comes the understanding of the teaching. That this qalb and this lataif al qalb, this is the door of knowledge. And it's yellow to symbolize this is the first stage of the sun becoming lit, the heart of the believer to become a shams. The qalb is the shams and their face is the qamar. Means Allah has to send a light into the heart. And that heart will become like a sun. So this lataif of the qalb is an, is an opening of these knowledges. It's an opening for the sun to begin the formation within the heart. We said that they see everything in that meditation as yellow. And they're asking Allah that, dress me from that light. And that everything around them when they sit to meditate is that yellow light. That led me to be in that yellow light like a sun and that that light is all around me and dressing. When they understood this station of the qalb then they're asking that, let me to be in that reality. Then they read this understanding of the qalb and they say, this is the opening of knowledges. This yellow light has to begin to enter into the heart through the process of tafakkur. It's not through the process of dunya but through the world of malakut. And that's why then the different personalities on the graph or in this qalb. That why is Sayyidina Jibreel is salam important in that understanding because bringing ilham, bringing these lights and these lights of knowledge into the heart. So then this way of tafakkur, you're going to begin to make tafakkur with all of these souls, all of these realities. And once we understood tafakkur then I have to sit and contemplate, Ya Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi bi madadakum that please send your madad upon me as one of the lovers from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad dress me from your light. That light of Sayyidina Jibreel and the relationship with Sayyidina Jibreel salam has to begin to open for the servant. That you meditate like we said before that you're meditating and asking, this is not all happening in two days, oh I just heard this today, I will be doing this tomorrow and by, by next week shaykh, uh, what else do I do now? This is a lifelong process, this is just the introduction to the teaching. You have to have mastered the tafakkur and the contemplation. That you saw yourself as nothing and the ruhaniyat of the shaykh has appeared. You entered into the ocean of the hudur and presence, got lost in this ocean of love and you went into your fana. Where you no longer see yourself but you see the ruhaniyat of the shaykh. Then he begins to teach you in this ocean that we want to open the reality of the house of Allah we're going to make a relationship with Sayyidina Jibreel salam. And that, Ya Sayyidina Jibreel dress me from your light. Every zikr under that training of the qalb is asking, Ya Sayyidina Jibreel salam, please dress me from your light. Until you feel that presence and you feel that light and you feel the relationship with Sayyidina Jibreel salam. Then you go to the companion, the holy companion Sayyidina Usman al-Qali Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed, Ya Sayyidina Usman, that what Prophet has given to you, what Allah has given to you, what Prophet has given to you of knowledges and realities, dress me from my heart, dress me from that reality. 
put that reality of Holy Qur'an that was given to you, support me with your madad and support. Means they want nothing more than to support and spread the love of Sayyidina Muhammad This Ummat of Muhammad coming to these personalities and asking that what Allah gave to you, dress me and build your relationship with Sayyidina Usman. What was the Prophet at that level? Was Sayyidina Adam salam. That's how you read the book, people are asking they don't understand the step by step what to do. When you're reading the sections it's a teaching that at this qalb, what's happening at the qalb? Who was the Prophet of Allah Because Allah has no time, Malakut has no time. This is not a, a, a mulk teaching, this is a Malakut teaching. When Allah has no time what was the message of Sayyidina Adam salam? Alama isma kullaha that we taught you everything, wa lakal karamna bani Adam that you're an honoured creation. So I have honour and I have been taught everything. Means what? I have been taught everything. Sayyidina Adam salam must come and you begin to meditate. And asking, Ya Sayyidina Adam salam, dress me, dress me from these knowledges. What Allah gave us a secret. And begins to say that you've been already taught everything. Allah burned it on your CD and your CD is your soul. Your knowledge is already all been bestowed upon you, upon your soul. Develop your light in which you can read it. Alam al Qur'an qalaq al insan. There is not waiting, but Allah sent you with a nobility upon this earth. And that's why we're accountable and that's why Allah holds us to account. If I didn't teach you these knowledges then you could have gone to the zoo like a baboon. But because you're a custodian of my holy Qur'an, I'm holding you accountable. You can't do these bad things, you can't do crazy things, you can't harm each other. That's why Allah holds us to an account because the knowledge has already been given, it's already burned onto the soul. We said before you can't take a flashlight to read this CD, that's why the study of these lights. These angels, their colors, they're like a frequency and like a laser. Once you begin to meditate and contemplate in the muraqabah then asking for this yellow light, a special hue and a special frequency of this light, it begins to dress the soul. So like a laser when you go back and make your tafakkur it begins to open up the ilm that Allah has already encoded upon your soul. So by the light of Sayyidina Jibreel inside of you making madad and, and tafakkur he's not coming physicality, he's coming with his light. When his light comes it diffuses into you. If he comes and comes and keeps coming into your presence so why have to keep going and coming, going and coming? I'll put a little bit of my light into your soul. He opens up an office within your reality, within your heart. That's why we said, now Allah is dressing that ha heart like His house. And in His house are who? Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Saliheen. Of course the angels are in those categories. So their light then has to become deposited by virtue of that light within the heart they can begin to open these knowledges and these realities. And people say, oh we want knowledge but they don't want to tafakkur, they don't want to contemplate. These lights have to be deposited via these lights, these realities can begin to come out. Then everything importance of that qalb, that what's that reality of that sun that going to be opening up? What's the sense? under the sifat al-qalb or the lataif of qalb, which of the five senses is in the qalb? Hearing? Huh? Which one? Qalb, it's in the diagram. Uh, it says speaking? Yeah, that's why we say speaking. 
Yeah, first hearing, why? Because Prophet was teaching the companions, Samina wa ta'ala. We hear and we obey. So for that lataif to open and the lataif the qalb to open, it controls hearing. Sifat al sami. So it means the lock on my ear has to be under discipline that I have to hear and obey. I hear and obey. So that means all these testings, all these understandings, all these knowledges is to listen. And people have a very difficult time listening. They ask questions like, oh, I want, they want to say something. But Allah gave two ears and one mouth. Speak less, hear more. The more we hear and then spiritually hear with meditation, I have to hear my consciousness. I'm not hearing what my soul is trying to tell me. And people want to do bad all day and go straight into bed. But if at night I sit and I meditate, I can begin to really hear. One is I hear that what the teacher is telling me and then when I'm meditating I hear what he's inspiring or she's inspiring within my heart. That I should be doing this and that, I should be doing this and that. This then begins to open. If the hearing opens, the lataif of the qalb is now beginning to open. So that's how we use these teachings. That the qalb, meditating on the color of the qalb, this yellow frequency like a laser has to begin to hit the heart. These are from the lights of Sayyidina Jibreel has to begin to enter into the heart for these knowledges. Have to understand the importance of Sayyidina Adam salam and that that reality is always, always on this earth. Every Prophet of Allah has a teaching for right now, not for their time. Allah has no time. Sayyidina Adam salam right now is relevant and these knowledges are right now able to be opened. So it means then the sense of hearing and how to open to that reality. We pray that Allah give us an understanding and more and more understanding and, and inshaAllah next week we'll try to go towards the understanding of the lataif al-sir inshaAllah which is red. Why the importance of red and what does the, the, the red symbolize inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammad Way YouTube channel your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.